I think I'm going to the Eras Tour movie tonight. The reason why I say I think I am is because I might have to go alone <laughs> because I bought tickets for a six o'clock show and Jarvis doesn't get off work until 4.45 and it's a 45 minute drive. And yeah, kind of wanted to get there a little bit early. I want to get the popcorn bucket. I have tickets. I bought my tickets and they're non-refundable. So <laughs> that was kind of stupid, not gonna lie, but. I have my outfit on because I don't know, I might not go tomorrow if I go today because it is a 45 minute drive for me. So I wanted to wear my outfit that I had picked out. Before I go, I want to spray some perfume on. If you like, or if you remember, if you want a hit of nostalgia, Taylor Swift's perfume, Wonderstruck, smells like Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works. And I believe it's available right now. It's like limited edition. So. Smells exactly like it, a dupe. I've also got this Eras tour necklace. I do want to see the movie and I've been watching a lot of like the stuff from the premiere and just seeing like the fans, like true fans that I follow on social media, like true Swifties, seeing them at the premiere and like taking photos with her and seeing her like watch her own movie and just her react to it. I don't know, it's like, it's bringing me back to the good old days of the tour, we get the tour, like I could cry because it was just such a fun experience and it's just like, it feels so long ago even though it was this year, but uh, I just had such a blast. Like I have all my memorabilia, I have everything. Oh, love it, okay. I've got the black tour hoodie. This was an exclusive tour hoodie, but I actually ended up buying it online as you saw. <laughs> so yeah, um, and then I've just got black leggings and I have, white Air Force Ones. So, let me get all my bracelets on as well. I'm super excited. I feel like it's gonna be a blast. I don't know, I feel like I just need to go. I made this one this morning, by the way. Um, fla I made flashback in a film reel from, name that song. This is me trying. I also made this really pretty black one that says flashback in a film reel. It's got stars. So cute. I really hope that there's like a single person there to trade. Like a, I don't even care if I get traded back. I just want to give people my creations, you know? It's just so fun to be a part of something. That's all, that's like why I'm getting excited. I'm like, you know, it's just fun to be a part of something. It's fun to relive. I was watching a video. It was like, somebody was filming Taylor Swift's reaction to the movie, but I could hear the outro credits rolling. Like I could hear the the concert ending. It's like when Karma, they like, where it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just when it's fading out and like the confetti's coming down, I was like, <gasps> I just had a flashback moment. Anyway, I'm also gonna bring my little mini camera, I think. It's very conspicuous. Looks like Wally, -E, but I figured I could like film stuff on here and be very discreet with it. Oh, and I'm gonna bring my blanket. I'm usually, I've never been a blanket person, but I think I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna bring the, my new blanket with me. Yeah, is there anything else Taylor Swift related? I mean, I have a million things. I have a cup I could bring. So I'm excited to see the movie. Heading to the movies. I'm going opening night, the new opening night. I've got my bracelets glittering in the sun. I'm only about 30 minutes away. Like once I got onto the highway, the sun's really not that bad. I'm not going alone. Jarvis is actually meeting me there. He thinks I'm fully crazy though. So <laughs> he's like driving from work. We're literally driving both 40 minutes away, meeting each other at the movie theater. And he's like, why did you buy tickets for two nights? And I was like, well, I was peer pressured into doing it. And I wanted to go opening night. And he goes, why? And I go, because I wanted to get a popcorn bucket. <laughs> this popcorn bucket is life or death at this point. I'm gonna be extremely tired tonight, but it'll be worth it. Like I've tried to make this year the year where I say yes to more things and I just try to branch out, live my life. So yeah, I'm excited.
guys, back home from the Eras tour, the movie. And I have to just recap. So first of all, let me do a little haul for you. Okay, so we've got two cup sizes. I don't, I'm gonna have to look at my receipt, but this is like a smaller one, and then obviously the large. Okay, love that, I'm saving my tickets. I got two of the tin popcorn buckets because Yes, I also got one for my friend Samantha who I went to the concerts with. And then I also did get this one as well, um, the plastic one, and it's got a handle because I was like, well, I probably should get it, you know. But anyway, so that's the merch haul. But, oh, I also got these. So I did trade, Jarvis, can you tell them? Did I not trade? I traded every bracelet on my wrist. Yeah, you were going around the theater. I was going around the theater. I was the mayor, and everyone was okay, so excited. I don't know if you were the mayor. I was. People were coming up to me after the movies. I was the first person to, to like break the ice, and there needs to be a designated person because this is what happened to me at my other shows. I didn't go out of my own comfort zone to say, hey, do you want to trade? So I just ended up with having all my bracelets on my wrist, and I never traded. So it's like, it's up to, it's on you to go trade with people. So it's like, go break the ice with people. Go say, hey, like, don't expect anything in return. Just be like, hey, I have a bracelet for you because we're all here together. That's what I did. I just went up to everybody. I'm like, I brought bracelets for you. And then I just let them pick out which one. And I traded every single one off my wrist and I got some in return. So I can just show you really quick. Glitch. I got, oh, I have to show you these. I'll show you these in a second. I got cardigan. I have an I don't know one. And then I just had like a blue one. So w one girl gave me all of these. Nobody else really was trading bracelets, but I traded with this one girl. I traded with everybody in the entire theater. And there was about 15, how many would you say there were probably 20 people? No, probably 15? 15 tops. There was like 15 people. And there was a lot of people that were, there was probably three people that were also alone, by the way. So it's totally normal to go by yourself if you want to, just so you know. You were about to go I was about to go by myself and I honestly probably would have loved it. I had my hubby tag along. Jarvis was the only guy there, by the way. So he gets some extra kudos. But I traded with this one girl and she was the one that traded me all of these. She's like, thanks so much for the bracelets. And she's like, did you get the AMC one? I go, no, I didn't even know about it. She's like, oh my God, I'll go get you one right now. So she ran out of the theater, but the lights were starting to dim and I was panicking. I'm like, oh my God, she's gonna miss the movie. And so she came back and she got me a bracelet, the AMC. AMC was handing out bracelets. So I have three of them. I was like, oh my God. That is so sweet. So I was making friends in there. And then when we left the theater, she found me because I asked her, I was like, well, what show did you go to? I go, did you go to Cincinnati? And then I was like, oh, wait, I, I didn't realize that I was in, we drove all the way to Indiana. So she's like, no, I went to um, Nashville. So I was like, wow, she got good surprise songs. But anyway, so she's waited, she was waiting for me outside the theater. And we were one of the last people to get out. And she was like, I just have to ask you, like, where did you get all your beads from for your bracelet? She's like, these are the best I've ever seen. Did she not ask that question, Jarvis? Yeah. She did ask that. It was a surreal moment. I almost was about to send her the Amazon bracelet making master th thread link, but I was like, no. I just said, look, I got everything on Amazon. That's all I can say. So anyway, it was just like good vibes. Like people were excited, happy. It was not as crowded as like, and like crawling with people. I don't know about Friday. Friday might be different. Like tonight or, you know, whatever night. I don't know. The actual night because that's what most people pre-ordered for everybody was respectful the people that wanted to dance and there were some dancers and there were some singers they all were in the back so they just sat in the back and it's like they didn't bother anybody and nobody was bothered and everybody was having a good time in there a lot of people were singing and it's kind of like hard not to even i was singing i was like well i was mouthing i was like it's so good it's such a good well made it is 25 times better than the reputation tour which is on netflix like it's just it's unlike any other concert types thing that i've ever seen even like 1989 the shots that they got of her is it's like how did they get these shots and some of them are so cinematic they're so iconic this should be in a museum or something i don't know i don't know how to describe it it's just there's some scenes especially like in reputation where it's just Oh, it's so cool. Like they're just circling around her and you get to see the stage more. And I think for me, I really like to see this version of it because I never really got to see the stage, but I also was just so discombobulated when I got to the concert 
because I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here right now. Like, I think I just couldn't even get over that shock factor of like, I can't believe I'm here and she's in front of me. So I wasn't really thinking about like the, the design and like, you know, even when I was watching Miss uh, Last Great American Dynasty, I was recognizing more choreography. I was watching more of the backup dancers in the, this movie and stuff and just appreciating a lot more. And there's some songs now that I actually, it took the movie for me to really appreciate the, the greatness of the song. So I will say this is a spoiler. Uh, the Archer, Tis the Damn Season, Nobody No Crime, Long Live, but it plays in the end credits. And it kind of makes sense, honestly. Cardigan, Wildest Dreams, and The Seven Interlude. So those are the ones that were not in, in there, by the way. Um, by the way, the cups, I asked if they had the pink lid for this with the straw and they said no. So I think some places have different stock. But we could go again probably tomorrow. Over, uh, for people that didn't go to the concert initially, it's probably just a good experience because it's so oh, loud. Oh, it's a great, yeah. I think that it's worth it to go into the movies because it's so loud. Like, if you're watching it at home, you don't get the same. Unless you have a sound bar, like three sound bars around your head. Yeah, really like really and a VR headset, it feels like you're there. Because it's so loud in your ears and it's just you hear the screaming and you're like, oh my god, it does feel that way. It's honestly a great way to watch it because... You also, like a lot of people went to the bathroom and stuff, but it was like, you got to sit down. And when you're actually there, you don't get to sit down for three hours. So it was just kind of- people say I'm having fun though. Oh yeah, a lot of, I said that a lot of people, like, and I said they were very, like, doing their own thing. They chose seats in the back. Like, it was all good. They were having fun. I mean, you, we also, you went to the premiere, like the surprise premiere night. Right. So yeah, the you're, actual premiere- Right, there might not be. It's probably gonna be crazy. It's probably gonna be crazy. Be, you know, it's a fr Thursday night. Friday night's probably going to be great. Friday, I think Friday's going to be great. I think it's going to be packed tomorrow. But I am concerned, and this is not to scare anybody, but I'm a little bit concerned that they have enough stock of these popcorn buckets. They're tons. I hope they have more in the back. That's all I can say. And we were in a small town. We did. We drove all the way into Indiana across the Ohio border. So I just thought it was like a really good, fun experience. And Jarvis said he loved it. We were walking out and I go, what did you think of it? And he said, I really liked it. What, did, what was your takeaway? Backup dancers probably some of the best. Yeah, he was very impressed with the backup dancers. And he was, I was like, what was your favorite song? Or like, did you find any new songs? And he said, The Man. Yeah. You loved The Man. Which I was like kind of surprised because you didn't really have a reaction when she was singing that. A what? I know, but you weren't like really dancing around or shaking a tail feather. It was making me think how awesome it is to be a man. Totally. Well, like I, I was telling them, I'm like, I definitely, I feel like you just get to see like the whole set. You get to, there's so much stuff that goes on on the stage and it's cool to get like that other view, but it is genuinely like, how did they get those shots of her? They are so iconic and it's just so crispy I clear. Are football cameras. Those are like high high definition where I've never seen before like the quality of that. She's such a great performer because she'll like look into the camera directly and she's like doing, you know, but then she's also looking at all like the people, the fa you know, the fans you and stuff. The I think everybody should go. Agree? I guarantee you it's actually packed. Like we went to a show that probably not a lot of people were playing. Well, they announced it yesterday. So we, and most people probably bought their ticket for tomorrow. Yeah. Do we go tomorrow too? It's the full concert experience. It really is. But I thought it moved along pretty quick. That's my experience. Anything else I'm missing? I don't think so, but I'm very, I'm just, I feel like my life, I can relax, I can sleep at night now that I got my popcorn bucket. So I also have my movie ticket right here, which I will save in a memory box. I need a memory box for our movie stuff. I should do like a scrapbook page or something. But yeah, we had fun. Thanks for watching. That's my concert vlog. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.